Boom, boom, this is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Right, we got a little bit of Don Machi Memorial freeze up today. So we've got uh, the update posted last night. We've got the second part of the Turbulent Shore Rondo event. Uh, a duo of Sun and Moon is up. So you get to see the continuing story with uh, Tiona, Tiona, uh, Amazons, how they left the group. You know, the story as it goes on, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. It was anybody who's taken part in the story. So it's a continuation of that. So the second one, um, same thing that we're looking at here exchange-wise. Got your Hero Meadows Flame Amulets. Hero Lights, Ascension Fallen, and your Gnome Tickets. Make sure you get all that stuff, of course. Clear it out. Get some of the mats. Basic setup. Gotcha is going to have you. Every time you do a reset, you get a three gold ticket, a uh, three-star ticket. So let's go for it. Now remember, a three-star ticket can possibly be a four-star as well. Okay, I've had it happen several times. So it's not, you know... So getting as many of these as possible, um, you know, as you know, you have a chance. It's a very small one, but you still have a chance with a three-star ticket to get a four-star as well. So definitely want to get all of those tickets. All right, so got a new gotcha. I've got a bunch of stuff going on in the gotcha, but first let's go ahead and take a look. Um, uh, seventh zone is up now. We've got the fire and the water zone up. So remember to, you know, get your uh, lightnings out. And go in there for that one and get your of course your water out to go up against the fire okay so um definitely want to flood those up and get those uh, if you got the teams to do it this is why you're building the teams okay uh, as i'm always saying if you need a wind character if you need a dark character this is why you're doing it you're doing it to build specific teams for the zone okay so you can get the ascension fallen materials so you can ascend your weapons okay that's the next level of weapon ascension so you want to have a team it doesn't have to be a, a, a full five star ranked team to to beat you know if you don't need five bonds and max ascension you just need a character that has and get you know get one two three get as much as you can bonds on it just to stick it in there because you, you have you know you have plenty of time so let's take a look at this water one here so let's go ahead let's go ahead and do this fire zone here so we want to do water so you know you just go in here and you do your filter and choose all of your, you know, your physical bad but you can choose four star and you want to choose water okay and then you just you know pull out all the ones that you have like I have her so I'll put her in first and I have her so I'll put her in first and I have so I've got those two in there so uh, look at some of the others that I've got Let's do a filter and let's take off because I want to put um, I want to put turn there. She's she's more on the healing type, but she said do it. So that's what you're looking for. So you just put in the best ones that you got. They don't have to be, you know, they don't have to be super powerful or anything like that. Okay. And so this is a water team. So it's recommended water. And then you go into battle. Let's go ahead and do the battle real quick. I'll just show you. See if I can beat it. Now understand these aren't these aren't you know maxed characters, so they're not going to be maxed. But see, I have twenty turns to do it in. So if you know if you just have enough to to get it, if you just have enough, okay. Not see here's this is see this is they, they're doing a stun too, which is not cool. <laughs> but I should be able to power through it here, because um, I do have a fairly a fairly good water team that I pump out. Normally I'll pump out. Uh, three water characters. I'll put both of my hero Hemes, which are right here and right here. Fox Yukata, and uh, and then uh, uh, and then I'll throw in um, Blazing Fist right here. And then uh, normally I'll put in if I need an extra water, I'll put in him, or I'll just leave in a Tarl Dark because he's neutral to them. Dark is only uh, uh, has the ultra buff against uh, against light, so putting him in against fight is not a problem. He's like my all team. I just use him all the time. Okay. So and he can do pretty much anything here. Uh, she's she's she she does a ton of damage on this right here. See, yeah, she does a hit, and for all of them. So as you can see, I'm pretty much at about halfway on all of them, and I'm only at five. So we should be able to complete this. Uh, we should have completed on ten or eleven, uh, depending a lot. And as you can see, I'm not really I'm not really taking um, too much damage. You don't have to worry about it on the. I'm doing it on easy right now, of course. But once you get up to hard. Um, they get a little the, the the chance to die becomes a little bit more prevalent 
because they do start doing damage. As you can see right now, um, my assists are being able to heal all the damage that they're doing. Okay, so I'm really not having much of a, much trouble in terms of that. Um, but if, as you get up in the difficulty levels, they start doing more damage. Okay, so you got to be a little bit more uh, concerned about healing once you start getting up into the higher levels. One of the things about I like about using for water is because this way I can just let it run on auto, and I don't have to worry about whichever uh, you know whichever attack is going to come uh, because it's always going to be a water attack because all four of the characters are water. So that just makes it easy. So it looks like it's probably going to take us. Um, you got 20, so it's probably going to take us about 13, maybe 14 to actually get it. So we'll just let it play out here. They're doing a lot of stuns, which is, uh, which is does, but we got you know got the counters of counters set up, uh, and as you can see, hitting weak. So we've already taken one down. Uh, next shot, we'll take down another one. When I first saw that attack, I thought it was going to be a, a wind attack because of the way it was looking with the, the fan, but it turns out to be and she drops a really big fish on him, which is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, that took out two, so we just got this one left, and that's out. So there it is. So that's all you have to do. See, So as you can see, this is not a fully powered team. I've got two, one full, one's at four, and the other two are at one So uh, and in terms of bonds. So you should be able to beat it on easy. Uh, I think it's easy. Uh, it's actually called normal. You should be able to beat it on normal without any trouble as long as you've got a team set up that's properly what they're requesting. Okay, so it's not that difficult. So in the water zone, you want to have up a lightning team. And like I said, I do have a lightning team. I got a fairly decent lightning team actually to go in the filter. Um, and to go, it's actually thunder. I call it lightning, but it's thunder. Um, I've got uh, I've got a four star bond. Uh, I've got a um, lightning, and then I've got uh, I thought I had a healer under that, but I guess I don't. So that's something I might want to look at. Um, and then as a boundary, I just put in um, I just put in um, a taro uh, for my dark, and I just put in uh, fierce ranger taro. Uh, these two do heal, so I should have enough on the normal. Wouldn't have to worry about doing anything from that. Okay, so that's all you want to do. You just see, just having most of it um, is all you really need um, to really do it. So just focus on getting a team for each. It doesn't have to be a max team, just enough to do it on normal so you can get the mat. Okay, it just takes a little bit longer if you do it on normal. Okay, you only, the reason is you only get it once. You can't run it constantly on normal and keep getting eight each time. You have you only do it once. So the only way to do it is you have to do all three of them if you want to get multiple mats. So now that I've done this one, I can do it on hard to get 12 and very hard to get 16. Okay, I, I'm going to try it on hard. Yeah, it'll be close, but I think I'll probably be able to do it. I'll probably take out that bell and put in um, put in Otaro for a little bit more damage. Um, then I'll just have to make sure that... Uh, when the auto comes up, I'll take when the uh, rage skill comes up. I'll take off the auto and um, make sure that it, it hits on uh, Foxy Kata's because her, her, she does the most damage on hers, or Blazing Fist or one of their whichever one has available. Okay, so that's what's up. So the second part of that is up. We got the new um, seventh zone. Nothing new in the boost. The story's continuing onward. All right, so let's take a look. We got a lot big gotcha here. Very very good. So you're going to get a, a, a free eleven draw ticket every day. Um, until the 13th okay so this is not a guaranteed four star it's just an 11 draw you might get a four star once or, you know yeah, whatever you just draw it it's free go for, you know you get like I did not get a four star out of it today so but uh, you know it's every day for the next four uh, next two weeks so you should be able to get lucky um, this is a paid I had started to stick my stuff in here actually before I realized it was a paid then I went to the draw and it said paid. And I said, oh, no, no, no. So just, but this is good to choose which ones that you need a bond for or one that you want to start collecting either or. Okay, so then we got the sun and moon uh, 
draws up. Now listen, this is a good draw, and let me tell you why. Okay, there are two draws. There's a draw that gets you get uh, Pearly Renard, Harry Hame, Alluring Dancer, Asia. Uh, they're in both draws. There's a there's the draw for Tiona right here, and a draw for Tion here. Okay, but Haru Hime and Asia are in both. Okay, so the only thing different now both Tion and Tiona are dark attackers. They do pretty much, pretty much very similar. Uh, I think the T. In my opinion, the Tiona is a little bit better than this one, simply because she does not have a strength. Um, she does not have a strength buff. Okay, she's more of a support type in the fact that she removes buff. I think that if you're going in terms of damage, that this one is just a smidget better. Okay, because it's Tiona. She is dark, just like Tiona, but she's got a strength boost okay but she's got uh, a neg heal on it which is better so i think she's just a little bit better not a lot but a little bit okay now as for this haruhime it's a win so if you need a win character um this is what you want to look for she's got a pretty good setup here okay not bad magic and wind attack damage plus 60 percent that's awesome okay can't beat that she's going to do excellent damage okay but this belka this asia is awesome a 20% buff to strength, agility, and dexterity for self. So if you, whatever character you put this on, is going to get that buff. You could put her on. You could put it on any strength. You know, any type of physical attacker, uh, any type of your agility or dex character. You put it on any of those. You wouldn't want to put it on a magic, of course, because they have. But their main stuff is about. But a 20%, and then, but also all the other allies in the team get a 10% buff to strength, agility, and dex. So this is an awesome character, okay? And you can get, you have a chance to get eight, okay? Because if you do it on the, if you do it on this one, you get one, four, seven, and ten. That's four chances to get one. Plus, you might get one in between, but it's you know four that you're going to get one. And then you're doing it on this because they're in. It's the same hero Hime, same bet. Yeah, see, same hero Hime, uh, and same Ashback. So that's one, four, seven, and ten on that one. So that's eight chances to get one of these characters, Haruhime or Asia Bell, and they're both excellent characters. So this is a really good chance to get a, a complete five, you know, a, a complete limit break five times, you know, get a full five bonds for it. This is a good chance. And that Asia is really, really, really good. So, I, you know, I don't quite have enough to make enough pulls on it uh, to do 10 times that, of course, would take 4,000. Um, and I only have 4,800 because I'd only be able to do it on one. Um, but, you know, I might go ahead and pick up uh, that and ch try to work out because I'll be getting some. This is up until the 25th, so I've got like a full month. I'm sure I can gather up another 4,000 um, by then, and uh, I'll be able to make a draw on it. So um, just have to focus on getting as many irises as I can. But I I'm very, very tempted to do it, so we'll have to see. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I just pulled Ray, Golden Feather Ray, a few days ago, and I got enough. I've got three bonds on her. So that gives me my win team. Um, I've got, uh, I think it gives me more win team. I might be still, I might still need one, actually. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's look at my character and my status board and uh, sort, sort, filter that out by four star wind. So I've got, uh, uh, yeah, I've got, uh, okay, yeah, I've got one. Two, so one, two, and I've got Ray uh, right here, which I, I've got three bonds on her to bring her up to three, and fully, you know, fully three bonds on her. So I've got three characters that have a pretty good set when it comes to wind. So I haven't had a chance to ascend her yet, but but I'm going to since I've already got her fully. So yeah, I, I probably. But man, that age is really good. <laughs> She's an excellent ass assist. Ugh. Uh, have to make a decision. Well, it is what it is. But yeah, that's so. Those are excellent draws if you want to do on that. So on the gotcha. So yeah. So Sun and Moon draws are up. They've still got the draws from the previous up. So if you're looking to get your hands on uh, Ray, uh, this one ends in a couple of days. So if you need a fire character, 
I did not need fire, so I did not pull on him. Like I said, I did need wind, so I pulled on her. So, um, you know, you want to do this. I did one. You only get it on one, four, and ten. So it's not one, four, seven, and ten. One, four, and ten, unfortunately. But I managed to get one in between, so I was okay with that. Um, and same with him, one, four, and ten, not on seventh, okay. But he's a fire character. If you need a fire character and you want a monster, your mask will go for it. Um, and this is terribly short. This is the first one, the first part of it. So they're still up. They'll be up uh, for another, uh, uh, you know, uh, five or six days. They usually keep it up for an extra time. Uh, now, the three-star tickets, of course, uh, and then back to the free-star gotcha. So they got it. They got a pretty good setup. So, But, yeah, second part of it has dropped. Um, the arena is up, and, of course, it's a you need wind for this to go up against Braver. Okay, so this is a wind so that's why they're giving you a wind character if you want to get a wind character. Um, so you can get that here because you're going to need to go up against Braver. I've been doing pretty good. Like I said, I already had, I, I, uh, I didn't have him quite full up, but it was enough to give me some pretty good damage. So I was able to do pretty good up to the second level. So go ahead and drop on those wind teams. But yeah, so uh, a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good setup. I like it. Um, but yeah, some good draws out there if you want to go for it. And the second part of the event is up. Uh, a duo of sun and moon. Okay. All right. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Once you subscribe, you'll see a bell. If you click on the bell, you'll be notified each time I drop a video. So just Ken Rear coming at you from the corner, signing out.